Okay, so today's lesson is how to turn any number into a base 5 number. Now, for you, those of you who are not familiar, let's just take a quick look at what is a base 5 number. Let's look at this number, 5, 2. Well, in the base 10 number system, this is the 1's column, of course, and then this is the 10's column. If it was the number 152, this would be the 100's column. And if the number was 1152, this would be the 1000's column, correct? All right. So each time we are multiplying by 10, 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1000. And then if there was another digit here, it would of course be the 10,000's column. So that is our base 10 number system. Okay? Now, let's think about base 5. Let's take a look at this number again, 152. Now on base 5, sometimes we write a little 5 down below it to remind us that we're in base 5. This is the 1's column. This is the 5's column. This is the 25's column. If this was 1152, this would be the 125's column. And then if there was another digit over here, it would be the 625's column. And in each case, I'm multiplying. 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125, times 5 is 625, and so on. So it's different because it's multiples or multiple times 5 with each column as we go across here. So that is the base 5 number system. In base 5, we only have 0 through 4 as our digits. We're not going to see 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nope, we only use these five digits, 0 through 4. Okay? So, how do we turn a base 10 number into a base 5 number? Well, there's a little trick to that, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so to turn any number which is in base 10, let's use the number 5, 6, 7. Base 10 number, we'll just put a little 10 below it to remind us we're in base 10. 5, 6, 7, and we want to turn that into a base 5 number. How do we get there? Hmm? Well, it's actually pretty easy. We're going to use that good old skill known as long division. So we take 567 and we divide by 5. Remember the names for things from 4th or 5th grade? This is the divisor. This is the dividend. And what we're going to have up here is called the quotient. So 5 goes into 5 how many times? 1. Doing this old school style. Bring down the 6. 5 goes into 6. 1. Can't do anything with the 1 there. Bring down the 7. 5 goes into 17. 3. That gives us a 15. And a remainder of 2. So we write this as 113 remainder 2. Now these remainders are going to be very important, so we're going to write these over here. 1, 1, 3, remainder 2. Okay? Now, we're going to take our quotient, which you remember, you can see right there, is 1, 1, 3, and we're going to divide again by 5. 5 goes into 11, 2, you know, gives us a 1, we drop down to 3, 5 goes into 13, 2, correct, remainder 3, 
And now we write over here 22, remainder 3. Okay. Now, we take the 22, we divide by 5. 5 goes into 22 four times, remainder of 2. Last time we have a 4. We divide by 5. 5 cannot come into 4. So it's 0 remainder 4. Okay? Move that over slightly so you can see that. Okay. Alright. So now we have this series of numbers over here. What we want to do is look at the remainder column here. And we write this number, but from the bottom up, 4, 2, 3, 2. This number, 4, 2, 3, 2, is the base 5 equivalent of our number, which we started with, which was 5, 6, 7, and base 10. Let's check it. Because we know this is the 1's column, this is the 5's column, this is the 25's column, and this is the 125's column. Right? Well, let me see. What is 4 times 125? Well, that is 500. What is 2 times 25? That's 50. What is 3 times 5? That's 15. And 2 times 1 is 2. Now we simply add up 500 plus 50, which is cost 550, plus 15 is 565, plus 2 is 567. So 567 base 10 is equal to 4232 base 5. Now this base 5 numbering system is going to be of good interest to people, people who are using the new Alberti cipher, which is going to be produced by Creative Craft House, because that cipher has the ability to display any number as a base 5 number. That provides a little level of security for people who have numbers they want to convey because most people will not realize that the number they're looking at is actually a number from a different base. Unless, of course, they have watched this video. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope you found it informative.